What's up, YouTube? Thought this was kind of a fun topic to think about. I'm over here at Live Science. These guys are a bunch of liars, by the way, because here's your six-pointed star, which is your Saturn cube, and notice the black hole sun right in the middle of it. Check this out, though. I've seen this uh, story myself, and I had a, I saw a couple people on YouTube talking about it, but I wanted to chat, uh, add my two cents, kind of chime in, if you will, because this is very interesting stuff. Doomsday Seed Vault. The science behind world's Arctic what? Storage cube. Just like the cube up here. And take a look at this freaking thing, man. What the hell is this? And then you gotta love this. This is the duality. This is the broken Saturn system that we're stuck in. Because instead of taking this straight and narrow path right here, we're bouncing back and, back and forth between the two pillars. Back and forth. Trying one way or trying another for our for our salvation. You know, we'll try this way. Well, this way didn't work. So now we'll try this way. Well, that way didn't work. Well, now we'll go back to trying this way. Well, that didn't work. Let's go back the other way. Just bouncing back and forth from the left to the right instead of taking the straight and narrow path. Because everything we need to save us is inside us. We're not, we don't need to wait on anything. We don't need any Republican. We don't need any Democrat. We don't need a man. We don't need a woman. We don't need any of that stuff. What we need to save us is inside us has been forever. So this... It's just the arc, it's the bouncing back and forth, it's a sine wave, it's Saturn, it's all the same thing. I mean, this is the design that's on Charlie Brown's shirt. It's also the sign, or the symbol that's on the side of Homer Simpson's head. I don't care what people say, they say, well, that's the M for Matt, and the G is for Granning, because Matt Granning is the guy that designed the Simpsons and created the Simpsons. I don't think it means that. I think the M is the arc, the, the duality, and then the G is the same G that's on the Masonic compass. It's the gateway, because it's all the same thing. But that's enough of that, just talking about the symbolism and how you can immediately say, man, this stuff is suspicious. So the ongoing civil war in Syria has led to the first ever withdrawal from the Svalbard Doomsday Global Seed Vault, a giant storage unit for plant seeds that's tucked into the side of a frigid mountain in Norway. Established in 2008, the seed vault serves as a safe haven for the world's vast variety of edible plant seeds in the event of a nuclear war or catastrophic natural disaster. The vault keeps backup seeds frozen and safe until they can be reclaimed. And you would think, well, this kind of sounds like trouble. Is trouble coming? They say, oh, no, no, it's totally cool, totally legit, don't worry about it. Look, the withdrawal actually serves as proof that such a vault is necessary. So while it may sound like bad news, it's cool, because it's just proof that we need one of these things. Does that sound right to you? Does that sound like a rational explanation? Not to me, because here's why I think that they're doing this. Because it's prophesied that Syria, specifically Damascus, is about to be a parking lot. You know, what does it behold the burden of Damascus? It's become a ruin, or uh, it's no longer a city. It's become a ruinous heap. As said in the Bible, and if you've been looking around, paying attention to the news lately, which I totally get if you're not, but I'm um, just saying. They've been, they've been showing all these satellite pictures and all this satellite imagery of Russia and all this military buildup in Syria. You know, and just keep in mind, remember, Russia, China, America, North Korea, Iran, it, it's all the same side. Israel, they're all on the same side. It's all one story that they're all playing part in, okay? You can tell by the symbolism of all those armies, everything, it's, it doesn't matter, man. I'm not going to argue with it. You thumb the video down and cuss me out if you got to, but they're all on the same side. So to me, it makes me wonder... If they're taking these seed, uh, these seeds out, because Syria and the whole Middle East is about to be changed and <laughs> leveled, if you will, and it just makes me wonder that if they're going to get in there and replant and start all over again as soon as they possibly can after they level their little playing field out there. So who knows? But I can tell you what, there, this is highly suspicious to me. And the fact that they're just saying, oh, it's totally cool that we're doing this. It's just proof that such a fault is necessary. I'll leave that for you to decide. So I just wanted to get into this and uh, show you a little bit, especially show that picture. Because, I mean, you got to be cussing kidding me, man. Being for real. So whatever, though. So eyes on the Middle East. Who knows? Weeks, months. We'll, we'll see. Days. But it really looks like they're building up for something to happen real soon out there. But I don't know. Time will tell. Okay. Thanking my subscribers for watching. Appreciate all the support. Sorry I can't uh, get back to you and can't really see what you're saying. But uh, like I said, I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys are still there and ladies. So thanks for watching.